Greetings the entire population of the world and welcome to my very first reaction video. I was random, randomly, randomly watching around YouTube page when I found this video which is called Top 10 Scary in the Region of Legend and I am Rovitan. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, what if I... Wait, this is my way to Top 10. I like that. Greetings, the entire population of the world. I am Mr. Binoculars, and welcome to my very first reaction video. I'm going to react to Top 10 Scary Region Urban Legends by Most Amazing Top 10. And um, since I'm Norwegian, I, was, uh, I decided to um, uh, make a reaction video on YouTube. See uh, how many I know and how many I don't know. So yeah, let's look forward to that. And how can I? I'm probably gonna laugh of the of the pronunciations of this video. So anyway, let's to see. Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and it was yeah. about time we did this video. That's right. Agreed. We are finally <clears throat> talking about the top ten Norwegian urban legends. Yes. Norway has such a long and rich culture and is Agreed. filled to the brim with folklore and legends. So I'm really excited for this video. But before we get into it, <laughs> so, I so, so, so that's so the reason that picture. Ghost stories you have in your town. Also, please do leave a thumbs up button. Nothing and actually. With a friend, and if you guys want to connect with me on. Social Friend, like media, me. There's a link to my Instagram in the description box. Disclaimer, I'm sorry, Norway, if I pronounce stuff wrong. Coming into <laughs> I say that. The demon dog of the Axosus Fortress. <laughs> Axosus. <laughs> the castle of, of the Axosus Fortress. Axosus. <laughs> Built in the 1300s, the Close. castle of Axosus was paramount in defending <laughs> Oslo. Later, the building became a It's a lot of ghosts in that town. Cruelty rife. The Nazis occupied the building in World War II also. The fortress is said to be rife with ghosts, including a faceless robe-wearing woman. The most popular mm -hmm. legend is that of the demon dog called Mal Canison. Mal Canison is a bad <coughs> omen, and the legend goes that if you see the shaggy stray, you will die a horrible death at some point over the next three months. It is horrifying. It's the fine. only dog that I don't fancy stroking. Usually I'm like, yay, dogs, but no, boo the death bringer. Coming in at number nine, we have the Draugen. The Draugen. Drager! Draugen, actually. That many Norwegians still believe in today. The Draugen is a seafaring phantom, the ghost of a person who is said to have died sort of at sea. The I said this already, but it's known as Draugr, but actually, it's known as the Draugr. Draugen so. is said to be seen on stormy nights trying to get to shore on a splintered and wrecked boat. The face of a Draugen is said to be fish like with black eyes and with seaweed hair. It is said that yep. those who sail in a storm are likely to encounter the Draugen who will draw them in, suck them into a whirlpool, and pull them beneath the water, drowning them so and cool their vessels. These fishermen and sailors are then said to rise through the water as Draugen themselves. <laughs> Surrounded by ocean, you can imagine why this legend is so popular and so terrifying in Norway. Bad children, beware of the Doe Dragon. <laughs> Doe Dragon! So stupid! Keep kids in check. Ladies and gentlemen, so stupid. Kids, teens, brace yourself. The Doe Dragon is a toilet spirit. A <laughs> so stupid. monster that hides inside the U bend, a bit like a cross <laughs> between moaning myrtle. I, I remember. I remember that. It's like. <laughs> I was definitely, I was, I can't believe I was terrified of the Doe Dragon. I was terrified of that creature. I was terrified of Doe Dragon when I was a kid. I was terrified. I was like, I didn't know it was, I didn't even know what it was, but it's like so stupid. And Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. It seems that the <laughs> originated in the 1970s. Sometimes the creature is depicted as a serpent, sometimes by the way, as a goat. By the way, that picture in the background, not that all. <laughs> Not that we cover that, but that picture in the background, that's nothing. Boost. Whatever the shape, the Doe Dragon is said to prey on bad kids. If a child's been acting out, the Doe Dragon is said to drag them away down the sewers. Yeah. 
That sounds familiar. Coming in at number seven, we have dark elves. Ooh. Norse mythology was all about an elf. Elves <clears throat> have been part of Norwegian folklore oh, yeah, dark for elves. thousands of years, and they come in both benevolent and malevolent forms. <clears throat> Light elves are said to be mini gods of nature that bring love and light and inspiration. These elves <clears throat> were good craftsmen and said to be kind in so many ways. However, we aren't here to talk about the good stuff because this is scary Norwegian urban legends. These good elves do also. <laughs> have the ability to be harmful to humans if they annoy them they can easily cause Sorry. illnesses however it is the dark elves you want to watch out for known as Svartalfheim these elves are ugly beings that turn to stone in sunlight so instead they live in dark gloomy areas these elves are said to taunt animals especially horses making them bolt they're also said to give humans terrible nightmares whether anyone to this I have to translate this video into Norwegian they truly believes in them still or not, the dark Wait, elves are things. often blamed for scary dreams. A classic at number six, we have the Kraken. The Kraken yeah. isn't a modern day urban legend. Yeah, the thing is like, yeah, the Kraken is Norwegian, not not Greek, as many believe. But then I, I didn't, until quite recently, I didn't even know uh, that the Kraken was the region. Didn't know it was good naming. It was like, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I didn't know that, so that's like, yeah, it's a giant, it's basically a giant octopus. Legend, it's an ancient tale from Norse mythology and folklore, but it is still a popular tale today. The Kraken is a sea monster of giant size and epic proportion that is said to live between the coasts of Norway, Sweden, Iceland, and Greenland. The creature, whose name translates to an unhealthy animal, is said to be a so mile cool. and a half wide and would take down even the biggest and most equipped of ships, sucking them into the bottom of the ocean. Like with the legend of the Draugen, the Kraken came from a fear of the ocean. Back in the Viking ages, seafaring was important but dangerous. Days at sea often played tricks on sailors, and the fear of the brutality of nature was better realized when they could give a face to the danger they were in. While the Kraken is an ancient tale, people were convinced of its presence as recently as the early 1900s. These days, I'm not sure if anyone in Norway still believes this legend, but they no, I don't. Love I don't think so. It still. Coming into number five, this is a very modern one. We have the Haunted Travel Agency. It seems that. Uh, Ghosts near Don't think I've heard of this too. one. I'm guessing that actually haunting's kind of exhausting. Maybe that's exactly what the ghouls haunting a travel agency in the Norwegian town of Moss wanted. Unfortunately, the pesky <laughs> living souls were all scared and called in clairvoyance Moss? to help rid them of the wonder-lusty spectres. Marianne Harland Bogdanoff, a skeptic who managed the travel agency... <laughs> it kind of... <laughs> it kind of sounds... She made, she made her sound German. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't heard of this one, but... Like, is this, is, this a, is this supposed to be Norwegian and you made her sound German to that pronunciation? Agency had her beliefs altered when she experienced weird goings on at her workplace. She said that computers broke down for no reason and that strange smells started wafting through the office. Staff members would complain of headaches and heard strange noises. IT technicians, electricians and plumbers came to check out the building but couldn't find the source. Staff never... <laughs> Just had to pause the video. This is Norwegian, this is Norwegian. Yeah, gratis or drömme. Oh. I thought it's the first to say it. Ja, drömme, which is, it's free to judge. It actually says it's free to dream. Um, I think, I think that says bare for reiselist. Um, it's kind of hard to translate. It's just dressed for those who want to travel, basically. Uh, and that's, you had, like, that's the new stuff. The same. Saw the ghost, but they certainly felt it. Eventually, a clairvoyant cleansed the office, and the spirits seemed to vanish. <laughs> this house is clean. I know that's Poltergeist. I Poltergeist is not a Norwegian movie, but just but that just reminded me of that. I haven't I haven't, I haven't even heard of this one. In the same town, a woman who worked at the tourism board said that the German language brochures always ended at the top of the pile, despite there being very few German-speaking people in the town. Eventually, it was discovered that a German soldier had worked in the same building during the Nazi occupation of Norway. Oh, Coming in at number creepy. four, we have the tortured souls of Lea Psychhaus. The Lea Psychhaus okay. is an old <laughs> mental Psychhaus. asylum in the city Drammen. The imposing building closed its doors in the 1980s, and it's creepy and abandoned today. The building is thought 
thought to have I've heard of this one patients either. with experimental drugs like LSD. It is also said that some patients were given lobotomies. With a dark past comes a dark energy. A lot of people who have explored <coughs> the abandoned building are totally convinced that it is haunted. People have seen apparitions, felt cold hands touch their bodies, and even heard screams echoing down empty corridors. This is Again, one place that I would one. not like to visit in Norway. <coughs> Coming into number three, we have the legend of Pester. <coughs> Pester is. I thought this one's gonna be number one. I think, like, I've seen the other video that with, with, with Viking religion that said this one at number one, which is kind of weird because Pest has nothing to do with uh, Vikings. It's the Middle Ages. Is a couple of hundred years off. But yeah, this, this, this is a very scary Norwegian religion. It's, a, it's associated with the thing we know today as plague. <clears throat> Let's. Uh, sorry to spoil anything. I don't know what am I saying. Like, what am I, what am I even saying? I don't know what I'm saying, but like, it is something to do. Maybe, maybe she says it's the same. I don't know. Like the Norwegian Grim Reaper and came yeah. around in Norse folklore following the horrifying Black Death. The Black yep. Death killed half the population of Norway, so you can understand why the Norwegians gave the brutal illness the bringer of death. I think it's have to do. I think it's. I think the reason why people believed in the Pesta back then is because of the Plague Doctors. Because it kind of looks like the Plague, plague Doctor. Like, the Plague Doctor looks sinister. Looks like some, there, those looks creepy. It looks something that drags straight out of Doctor Who. Human face. They did it so they could better under. That picture. That picture right there. It's very famous. That's the most famous picture of Pesta. Understand it. Pesta is the character they invented, and these <clears> days she's considered to be a general death omen like the Grim Reaper. She is characterized as being haggard, ashen faced, and wearing a red skirt. She carries a broomstick and a rake. The legend from the plague era goes that if you saw Pesta with a rake, there was some hope that some of your community would survive. But if she yielded a broom, then there was no hope for any of you. These days, Pesta is still talked about as a death bringer and a lot like the Grim Reaper. They should make a movie based on this. Once she's seen, she's unavoidable. Coming into number two, we have the headless monk of Trondheim. This is ah! one of the most famous ghost. Monk in Nidaras Domen. He's very famous. That's very famous. At first, I thought that was Bergen. In Norway, the cathedral of Nidaros Domen is situated in the Norwegian yeah, just... city of Trondheim. You yeah, actually said it right. You said it right! Good for you, Rubik! You said that was was right! Oh, almost right. The R's, but, like, eh. Anyone could say that. <clears throat> I was like, it's the same. It's, uh, it's the same, but it basically said it right. ...and dates back to the medieval times. The church <clears throat> was restored in 1814. Actually, by the way, I've actually been there. I've been in that, um... I've been in that big building. Build beginning Building. I think I have to have a photo of that, but, uh... Which, which I might put in the video, uh, but I used that as a profile picture once, and it's not that it's not there now. Of oh, profile picture on Facebook, by the way, uh, but it, I'm not using that now. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know if that's still available. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try looking for it, and uh, so then I can see a picture of that. And somewhere along the way, it attracted a ghost. Standard cathedral practice, really. The monk is a man. But and also, and also, I have to say, uh, there's a Norwegian series sitcom thing called Breton Um uh, it's, it's a very odd humor, so a lot of you probably aren't gonna get it because it's a lot of Norwegian humor. But they actually, they actually do joke around with <laughs> with uh, with the monk in the little or they had this. I don't know what you called it, well, what they called it, but <laughs> I don't know. But like, yeah, it's, it's very, it's, I think it's very funny. I'm not gonna show the clip because it probably not gonna get, they didn't get in the, the, of the jokes. Menace and is said to want to choke people <clears throat> on sight. In 1924, <clears throat> a bishop's wife saw the monk as she attended a church service at the cathedral. She described the man as very attractive with a sharp face and piercing blue eyes. He placed his hands around the priest's throat and tried to strangle him as he gave a sermon. Members of the choir and churchgoers saw. 
I thought, I, I suppose I thought that she said sperm. All hands around the man's neck, but not all saw the figure. <coughs> the bishop's wife then realized the monk was bleeding heavily from the neck. Ugh. Since this sighting, other people have reported seeing the monk who appears to attempt to strangle people he takes a disliking to. Some have seen him without a head altogether, which is pretty terrifying. Finally, coming into number one, part urban legend and part deep, deep mystery today, we have the Isdal Woman of Death Valley. Isdalen Valley in Bergen, Norway is colloquially called Death Valley. The I haven't heard of this one either. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be the ghost on um, Frederick Stan. The first name. Uh, I would be on, to be on this list. I expected that. Uh, but oddly enough, it didn't. <clears throat> was a popular suicide spot in the medieval times and also a dangerous place to hike in the fog meaning a lot of people have accidentally fallen to their deaths rumor of the spot being haunted are of course rife but that isn't the most terrifying thing about this place in November of 1970 a man walking with his two daughters found the badly burned body of a woman the woman was found lying on her back in a remote area and only her front was burned her back strangely wasn't also strangely jewelry had had been placed around the woman. Clothes were found nearby, burned, and with the labels cut out. Very strange. Stranger still, police investigating her death found two suitcases at Bergen Railway Station. One contained prescription free glasses and a fingerprint that matched the woman's. The case also contained a number of different currencies and several wigs. Police later found the unidentified woman stayed at a number of different hotels using eight fake names and passports. One shoe store owner remembers her smelling strongly of garlic. Despite all of the strange evidence and speculation that she may be a spy, the police closed the case. What happened to her, who she was, and why she was... Well, maybe she was like a supernatural hunter, a vampire hunter even, because she said it smells like garlic. <laughs> and also, the reason why I decided to make a, re make a video on this, forgot to say it in the end intro, is because it's on Halloween, it's so close to Halloween, it's like uh, eight days from, uh, uh, from now on, like, yeah, yeah, it's uh, like eight days or something. So, yeah, it's, yeah. And like they finally did an episode of the Region of Legend. They finally did it. Like I've seen a lot of the other videos with the um, urban legends from around the world. And like they even, they even co the comment a comment on that do the Region of Legend even popped up in one of the videos, and I was thinking, oh this is it. Now they had to do it, and then they didn't do it. I was start I started to begin to think they would never do Norway, but then they did Norway. And finally, I'm happy. How would you make it part two? was killed we don't know but the people of Norway have a lot to say on the topic so guys that was such an interesting list where should we make an urban legends video about next let me know in the comments section Norway part below. two so speaking of comments I wanted to read some Ooh. comments from one of my most recent videos the scary Chicago urban legends I haven't seen that one Avils has just realized that he is the <clears throat> center in a worldwide Truman show he wrote I got a notification about this video on my way to Chicago long inhale through nose <laughs> That's right, we made it all for you you. Watch out. Matt Fraser, 1983, wrote, I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I would love it if you could do either a Nova Scotia urban legends or a Halifax urban legends. I love your channel. I watch it every day. Ooh, hello, Halifax. I literally just went to Halifax and I learned all about it. I learned about the bomb blast. I learned about the fort. It was really, really cool and I had some good seafood. I also went to Peggy's Cove, which was beautiful. So a big shout out to Halifax there. I don't know. Are there spooky things going on? Let me know. Maybe we should do it. I'd like that. So guys, thank you for tuning into this video once again do please leave a thumbs up if you like this comment and share it with a friend i'm your host rebecca felgate and i'll see you in the next video oh gosh forgot about that outro <laughs> but anyway that was uh, my reaction on top 10 scary individual legends some of them i have heard about before and some of them i didn't haven't shut up on i'll make that sound again wait to make that sound i can say it again later <laughs> but anyway so if you like this episode, please leave a like on the channel. I also got to try to leave a link on the uh, original video in this description below <clears throat> for you to check that out. So anyway, if you like this episode, please leave a like on the, and, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And, also, and make sure you comment. That wouldn't, that wouldn't hurt. And my love that is done. 
we will all meet again next time on the channel.